welcome to another edition of Exotic Gardening UK. In this episode we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at a specific plant and see how it's grown over the last few years since it was planted. So in this episode we're going to look at the pretty rare Trachycarpus oreophyllus, which is a Trachycarpus palm, which you normally see the Trachycarpus wanglerinus or fortunii, which is the most common palm grown in the UK. And it's a fan palm, it's very hardy for the fortunii and wanglerinus, but for the oreophyllus, which is the one you see on the screen, this is a bit more tender, at least minus five, minus six isn't an issue, but it's pretty untested at lower temperatures because it is a pretty rare palm. So here it is in the garden this week when the sun was shining, which has been rare this week. And you can see it's got a very slender tapered trunk and very fine leaflets on the leaves. And it's grown pretty well. So it's a good palm now that's about, about 1 meter 80, 1 meter 90 tall, with a trunk of about 90 centimeters, something like that. So let's see what this palm looked like when I planted it four years ago in 2015. So here it is in 2015. As you can see, it's a pretty small plant. It had a trunk of about 20, 25 centimeters, maybe 30 centimeters from memory. It was bought in 2010, I believe, and kept in a pot until it was planted out in 2015 in June of 2015. As you can see there's a lot of new topsoil around the plant in this bed, one of the first plants that was planted in this area. And in the background you can see the other plants like the Cycas revoluta that's still growing well. And to the right of the Cycas, the small Chimerop serifera and various other bananas on sets and bamboos in the background as well. But if we look at the Trachycarpus oreophyllus you can see how much smaller it was just four years ago and how it was light and open the garden looked as well so that is it from one angle you can see all the leaves are sort of stretching mainly towards the fence the trunk was a bit of a tapered trunk a bit of an angle as well so i buried it and planted it at a slight angle to make it look straighter and it was growing in the pot and let's have a look at it at a different angle here it is looking back towards the end of the garden. As you can see, it had a small trunk, but it wasn't exactly substantial. You can see the bamboos around it. In the background, you can see canna, some more bamboos, but it's very open. You can see a lot of fence at this time. And I didn't plant many plants around it because I wanted to establish and not get sort of nutrients taken up by other plants so there wasn't much in the way of substantial plants grown around the trachycarpus or the phyllus over the last four years so it's, it's meant that it's sort of greened up really well it's rooted really well and it's got all the nutrients from the topsoil and the manure and the fertilizers i've added over the last four years but now after four years the bamboos that you can see to the right and to the immediate left at the front of the screen the photo there you can see now they're actually a bit more shaded than it was four years ago so this is a photo from four years ago a bit yellowish leaves now let's have a look at the same palm this week and you can see photograph taken this week how the leaves are much greener now they're also much much larger and you can see the trunk has grown substantially and so have the bamboos and the milianthus and other plants around it as well. So it looks far more enclosed now than it did four years ago. There's still nothing growing particularly close to the trunk around the base of the palm. So it's allowed it to grow pretty tall. So now let's look at the palm side by side from four years ago until today. So 2015 and 2019. And now we can see how much it's changed in just four years. These are both taken from roughly the same position, actually, and same angle. I have zoomed in a lot on the right-hand side when I took this photograph, so it's not exactly comparable. But it is the same plant from the same angle. And there's a the difference in growth. 
Now let's have a look at this palm from the other side, seeing the full trunk height and how much it's changed in four years. And there we see Trachycarpus oryophyllus on the left hand side in June 2015 and the right hand side in December 2019, so just four and a half years growth. It's not grown very often this palm, it's very hard to get this palm because it's where it's grown in the wild, it's in an area where literally you can't get to it anymore. It's restricted, you can't get the seeds out. So hopefully one day my specimen will flower and it'll mature in the next couple of years and we can get seeds by sharing the pollen and seeds with other people growing this palm. So thanks for watching this video. A bit of a different one this week. Next week we're back to the regular videos.